Howdy. How's it going? You know what? I'm feeling good today. Hey, I'm glad to hear that. Anyway, sorry, you don't need to know this. Bye now. Hey there, partner. Howdy, sir. Hello, mister. Watch yourself. Gets lonely out here sometimes, don't it? Does that suck? Anyway, don't let me bother you. See you soon. Why don't you sit? Where's your manners? Can't leave early. Must be tough, looking like you. Oh, you got yourself a big mouth. They learn some respect, you hear? You. You're annoying me. You're looking to do it yourself, huh? So get the hell away from me.
Straight free. Born free. I was born free, goddamn you. Hey, you don't mind, do you? Professor, I know. What in hell are you talking about? You're a lucky man, mister. You get to be part of a great experiment. Shut up! Huh? You ain't gonna die needlessly, is what I mean. Nope. Your death's gonna be an uh, important step in the advancement of human knowledge. Look at the floor for a bit.
professor will be real pleased to meet you. Thank God no. you that I got her. You're wonderful. Just, just wonderful. Now, where's my money? Um, money? Yeah, for all the running around I've been doing. Oh, well, once they buy my humane electric ending facilitator, there'll be money enough for you, sir. Well, let's hope. All right, let's get our, our, um... Our poor unfortunate, ready for the demonstration. Oh, do come and watch. It'll be amazing. Come along. you all bucked up for? You the local hard man, huh? Hey, front. Come on. You gonna ask me for this. Get up! I'm gonna knock the hell off you. I'm gonna get you, all right? <laughs> Get your cup. I can't believe you just did that. Jesus. You know better than to get mixed up with anything like that. No, God, please. Just a little bit. Please. Please. That's no. enough out of you. You ain't up on your ass. This ain't real. I'm going to get this out. Come on, I got places to be. This ain't my business. What? Nothing. No, no. no way. Help me, please. I'm on nothing to do with this. How do you plan to 
wash all that blood out. I have to say, that is one remarkable get-up! in your crawl. Huh? My friend, my friend, it is me, Charles Chatonnet, the painter. <laughs> okay, what are you dressed up like that for? Oh, I am a wanted man, persecuted for my art. As bad as it is, <laughs> I don't think that... The art is the problem. In Paris, they say leave. Go far away. We will never understand you here. I say, I go to Saint-Denis. They say that is not far enough. <laughs> it seems to me that they were right. But it doesn't matter. Now, I go to South Pacific. They always tell me the light there is perfect for my work. Well, so long as they weren't telling you that just to get you on the other side of the world. Perhaps. It doesn't matter. Help me get to the next ship. They are watching the port, and I need a chaperone. <sighs> okay, come on. Oh. I'll tell you what I want, miss. Civilization! So repressive! So stifling! I can hardly breathe in this city! Yeah, I kinda know what you mean. Why I thought I would find my way in a country founded by Puritans? Oh no! I know those men! Please do not do that again. <sighs> now get moving, come on. Morning, sir. So, wait. You ain't so none of your work. There is always a heavy demand for fresh mediocrity, but no kinds of brilliance. Not so much. 
new kinds of... So hurry in the fence. We go through there. Defend the big town, huh? Where are you going, pretty lady? Anywhere you want, mon ami. Oh, oh my goodness. <laughs> Street a foot wide. All right. This way to the end of the docks. Sir. I was going to buy the red ones to bring out the colors in your cheeks, but then I thought the blue was altogether. More Hush, Kate. I may know these people. Something gayer. A purple, perhaps. We are in Saint Denis, after all. What are you looking at? Money borrowing, wife stealing. You sure got a way of ingratiating yourself with people. If the purpose of life was to be liked, it would be very boring indeed. I've developed the feeling the purpose ain't to be hated. Hate, love, they are the same. I provoke, I challenge, I amuse, do I not? With my impropriety, a mediocre life is meaningless. A bold life filled with art and truth, dirty truth. That is something that matters. Look at you, pretty little thing. Woo! Oh, 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 oh. I know, boys. Come on. Come on back now, baby. <laughs> The sailors know who they're punking with. We have many weeks together. We will get to know each other well. Well, good luck to all of you. Relax. Hey, up here. She is my ship. Ship's leaving soon. My word, you really are a cowboy. Now I have no choice but to leave. Adieu. Merci, mon ami. So long. If they don't like you in the islands, keep on going to the South Pole. Ah, yes. I hear there the light is really fantastic. Ah, au revoir. Get back in with the cattle where you belong, Hayseed. Oh, you are amusing. <laughs> Let's make tracks.
You head in there, friend. Go on. Mister. Can I help you? Doctor, I, I need a doctor. Oh, uh, just one second, sir. Come in, pal. Come in. I need some help. And so it seems. <coughs> and that's Dr. Mister to you. I'm sorry. Uh, I was joking. Look, friend, I don't mean nothing, but you got money? I mean, before I start treating you, because I got a family. Yeah, I understand. Here, let do you. Uh, sure.
think I done drank myself slick. <coughs> mm. Any problems coming in? Nah. Guess they know now we ain't in the city. Who, Mr. Milton's friends? Yeah, they've had patrols out ever since you boys disappeared. Well, at least you're alive. For now, yeah. What happened in... Um... Guama? Yeah. <coughs> Nothing nice. What happened to Dutch? Because he seems... I don't know. Seems as... What began happening in Blackwater began happening years ago, maybe. A slow decline, I guess. What do you mean? I ain't quite sure. What happened here? I started gathering people up as best I could after you boys left. And John, you know that part. I do. And Hosea? So that too. Hell, we got Lenny's body out as well. Bribed the morgue and buried them together. Follow me. Morning. Good morning, sir. I, I am in a good mood for some reason. Well, that's just well. Yeah. So, what's your plan here? Well, I figure before we do anything, we need to make sure John's even still at this prison. And how do we do that? We need to get up high enough to get a proper look at the place. What? It's on an island, ain't it? Unless you're planning on learning how to fly. That's exactly what we're gonna do. I found us a hot air balloon. You ain't serious. Now, the pilot, or whatever you call him, he thinks we're just in it for a lesson. Bit of a tour. <laughs> He's quite the character. I think you'll like him. You know, I'm impressed. You really stepped things up, ain't you? Hey, we didn't know if you was even coming back. Whole thing hit folks real hard. You can see it. Heron's gone falling fully into the bottle. Strauss is a bag of nerves. Swanson, well, Swanson's actually gone and cleaned up his act. So I guess it ain't all gone to shit. Oh, she a beauty, ain't she? From here on the ground, yes. Mr. Bullard? Hmm. Mr. Bullard. Ah, Mrs. Adler. It's good to see you. Good to see you. Ah. Uh, this is my friend I told you about, Mr. Morgan. Ah, yes, Arturo Bullard. At your service, sir. At your service. Arthur Morgan. Well, it's a nice, fresh day for flying, sir. A day like today, an Icarus would have made it across the sea. Ha, ha, ha. Have you ever flown before, sir? No. Oh, well, it's quite a thing. Quite a thing. Now, put these on and hop in. Well, ain't she coming? Ah, well, women can't fly, sir. Are you insane? They can't. Oh, no, sir. It does terrible damage to them, to their vapors. I thought everyone knew about that. Why, a delicate flower like Mrs. Adler? <laughs> Heavens above or below. Ah. Where'd you find this guy? I told you you two would get on. Uh, are you sure about this? Certain, sir. Quite certain. Mrs., let us away. <clears throat> Wish us luck. I've only crashed twice. Now, uh, pull on that rope uh, and hope for the best. Ah! You boys have fun. How did you get out of this? <laughs> okay, here goes nothing. Right, time to catch a few vapors of our own. It's a little overcast, but I'm expecting some good wind once we're high enough. We should still have some decent views over the river. Now, one hates to be coarse, but on the subject of ablutions, liquids over the side, solids, do your utmost to levy the situation until we land. Okay, Mr. Bullard. I had a client once who fell foul to a rotten oyster on the ascent. Decidedly harrowing experience for all involved. Keep going, sir. We need to get up above the clouds. 
It really is stunning up there. You'll have seen nothing like it. Remarkable, isn't it? Feels like we have a nice westerly wind, so keep her around this height. This particular vessel is state of the art, sir. Imported from Europe. We'll find more than a couple of these on this side of the pond. So long as it works. You sure you shouldn't be doing this? Oh, not at all. A child. Could operate this with a little supervision. Besides, Mrs. Adler told me you were very keen to learn the ropes. We have plenty of those. She did, did she? student of the Italian eight. My brother's called Baldessario, so you could say I got off light. Look, I I'm trying to concentrate here. Did you breakfast in the city this morning, Mr. Morgan? Not exactly. Well, I have a boiled egg in my pocket here that you're very welcome to. I think I'm all right, thank you. Recalling the ablutions uh, discussion. Well, just say the word. you interested in the pursuit of aviation? I did, exactly. Mrs. Adler thought she'd surprise me. Ah, oh, a very nice woman. And no shrinking violet. Definitely not. I prefer slightly more feminine attire on a lady, but variety is the very spice of life, as they say. Or is it, though? Did you know they locked up the man who wrote that in a mental asylum? I did not, Mr. Bullard. Ascend! The wind isn't strong enough at this altitude. More heat! We are too... ahead on the island. That's the infamous sister. Like a penitentiary. You might want to go a little higher there, sir. We shouldn't fly too near to it, though, sir. Sorry, we're going in for a closer look. What do you mean? Mr. Morgan! 
Morgan, please, this is most irregular. Well, you want a happy customer, don't you? Look, this isn't funny now. What on earth are you doing? The guards are bound to spot us. Calm down. They won't care if we stay high enough. I'm just looking for a friend of mine. A friend? Poor bastard has a habit of being in the wrong place at the wrong time. I heard they got him working the fields in a chain gang. Dear God. unusual relax mr. Bullard take over keep us well away I'll do my best this Philly isn't the easiest to control you know should we uh, think about heading back no nope, not there Could be him. Yeah, that's him. Ah, my God! What are you doing? They're shooting at us! I can see that. Ascent! Ascent! Didn't I tell you this would happen? Ah. Oh. The wind speed is picking up. We should stay at this altitude. It's heading northwesterly, so that should take us back to land. Dear God, I'm shaking like a leaf! Uh, we're in the clear now, Mr. Bullard. Get up. Good Lord! My heart is pounding! <sighs> I must say, the specifics of this job were not described to me at all sufficiently. Well, it's done now. <laughs> Mrs. Adler? Where? Being chased. Yes. Try and get us near. Will there be more trouble, sir? I expect so. I'm starting to rather enjoy this.
you break your neck? I don't think so. Yeah, maybe. Oh, damn it, look. There's more of them on the other side. They must have followed us. Get behind something. This ain't over yet. He's goddamn... can't stay out of trouble for one goddamn hour. You got that poor bastard killed for his troubles. I kind of liked him. They got Comb, the government. They got Comb O'Driscoll. They're gonna hang him in San Denis. Hang him? Okay. Mm-mm. He's already been tried twice for murder and found guilty. Sure, no doubt he'll escape again. No, he won't, because we're gonna make sure of it. I... We have our own problems with the law, in case you ain't noticed. Dutch will want to see him swing. Sure, Dutch. He wouldn't even help us with Marston. And our situation is really messed up right now. You know how things is. Bastard's gonna swing. I'm gonna make sure of it. Closely followed by Marston. You saw him? Yes, in the fields. Okay. Then we go rescue him. <coughs> from a state penitentiary? No. But from the fields? Yes. That we can manage. It's well guarded. Guarded, sure, but not behind bars. No, it's not behind bars. So, that's how we'll do it. Bust him from his work detail. I guess. It's best just the two of us go. <coughs> the two of us is all there is, anyhow. Good, because two is all we'll need. I'll get us a boat, a little one, and we'll sneak in and get him out of there. Meet me at Copperhead Landing. Thank you, Arthur. Whatever you say, boss. I heard that. 